right, Captain. Thank you. And hello, and hello again, and once again, you're welcome to the fastest 30 minutes in broadcast. Where I'm your host, Prophet Johnson. You know what to do? That friend, that neighbor, call the call my brothers and sisters. Let me say again. We are quadrupling. I don't know what we are. You know how they say going through the roof? <laughs> you know, in viewer rating, we're going through a roof on that, brothers and sisters in Christ. Now, I'd like for you to contact, email someone in another state. Can, would you do that for us? Would, would you email your sisters and your family up in Virginia and, and say, you know, will y'all just log on to livingstrongtv.com? North Carolina, would you do that? Can we pass the word? Vera's in California. How about hitting up Nevada and some of the other places? For those that are veering the broadcast, the captain, go ahead and say again. For those that are veering the broadcast uh, around the world, at this time, what I'm seeing is a magnetic attraction of truth. You got Bible-thumping believers that are hitting the grounds in Africa, in Sudan, in Indonesia, in Tibet, everywhere. Missionaries that are doing great works for the Lord. And many of those places I myself personally will probably never travel or never see. But this word, through the spirit of this broadcast, has got living strong in theater right there in those lands. So though I may not physically be there, the word of the Lord is able to transcend through continents and lands and space and time like never before. Something is being brought out in the lives of the people like never before. The truth is coming out. You see, the entertainment is coming to an end. God is constantly raising up people that are bringing forth and birthing forth the truth of his word. You know, there was a time in which the gospel in its early stages, you know, I don't want to go all the way back, I don't care nothing about, you know, going back and requiting all of that. But the gospel caught fire. You know, 70s, 80s, gospel was on fire. Even starting up at the, you know, after the 60s, the hippie movement and everything else, the gospel started exploding. But then we hit a law, you know, 70s, 80s, 90s. We hit a law at 2000s, after 2000s, stuff start changing. After 2000, you know, 5 to 10, you know, stuff start changing real bad. Real bad. And now look at where we are. So something inside of each and every one of us has got to find its place back to the rightful measures and truth of God's word, no matter where we are. In the land, time, I must say, the old folks used to say it's running out, but 
I, I'll say it like this. Time appears to be running out like never before. And so we're tested in this life and we're called to do things like never before. So why don't we go ahead and get into the word of the Lord. Um, faith on fire may not seem like much fire right now. Uh, uh, Captain, it's good to have you back. I told Cap what the ma message was. <laughs> Cap said, <laughs> faith on fire, uh, number seven. I'm like, there hadn't been that many. It's what, three or four, isn't it? I don't know what it is. You know, but he, he didn't seem like he was all too all jippery about it. So, but nevertheless, if, if we get a little whatever, we get there. Then if not, then oh well. Y'all know how I am. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> a familiar book tonight. And we, you all know it by heart, most of you. The book of James deals with faith and prayer. And then it de deals with, talked about enduring test in life. Then it goes on to talk about be a doer of the word and not a hearer. Then respecting others. You may say, Prophet Johnson, why are you calling this faith on fire and don't seem like it, you, you, you're moving on nothing just yet? Well, I'll tell you what it is. I'll tell you what it is. Faith on fire is not you getting up and, and hollering. It, it's not you getting up and making a whole lot of noise and and dancing all over the place. You, you can do that. Fire. Okay. Has the ability to purify. Faith. Which is a substance of things hoped for. Purified substance. Is what I'm after. Faith. To what? Jesus said a word. And it's delivered. Faith. Hallelujah. To believe God and to go on rejoicing and not stagger at the promises of God through unbelief, but strong in faith, giving God the glory, counting out joy because he's after something. Hallelujah. God is after the pulpit. Now I say it again, preacher. He's after the pulpit. He want his place back. He want his seat back. And what he want back is the actions and the operations of his word. Not a performance. Not a crown king sitter. Not a placator. But a prayer. A believer. Somebody that's going to believe that God is going to give you the tools to heal. Rather by man or by supernatural. One way or another, our faith is not to fail. And for those of you that say, Prophet Johnson, I've been watching something here. I've been watching this Corona disease. And I'm looking at it also. And I'm asking the question, just like everybody else. We can go do hey Google and okay Google and whatever. Google. When you have to Google the disease, you go Google it. I don't want to Google it. I want to know. What is this? What is this? That's got people dying on ships and oceans. What is this? That is shutting down nations one by one. What is this that's moving Faster than Ebola. Bigger than SARS. And what is all these 
these name brand theatrics, that these media non rights come up with. Oh God. Oh Lord. No, God, I didn't hear that. No. Say it now, prophet. Say it now. Say it now. Say it now. America is enslaved. God, Captain, did you hear that? Captain, did you just hear uh, America is enslaved? Wow. Do you want me to tell it? Father, are you for real? I, I, okay, I'll just say it and be through with it and stop talking to me and you say it before you forget stuff because that's what you'll do. America is enslaved. Because of the leadership of America. Now America is enslaved because of the power of the leadership. Father, want me to share something with you and maybe we'll go ahead and get into the word. Father showed me a lining across America. I want you to imagine a white sheet just like this napkin I'm holding up in front of the camera, okay? Imagine this white sheet as a lining, a great cloud, a sea, a you can call it silver lining or whatever. You can call it any, any, any lining, white lining, black lining, whatever, blue, green. Get your favorite color. Imagine that lining. That lining is running straight solely across America and have blanketed every single thing under the United States flag and covenant. Now, this is what Father showed me now. I'm going to show you this. On that lining is enslaved America. The leader of America runs that entire lining of enslavement in this nation and nothing you got to get this no words no government no law or nothing just like the second heavens first heavens I want to go with the first heaven. First heaven lining, second heaven lining, third heaven lining. Nothing can go up above that because the leader has got, I am going to get in so much trouble. Why do you want me to say that? Because it's the truth. I some truth I don't want to tell. I'm already in trouble. You know what's going on. Okay. All right. I'll say it. Because upon that lining, the leadership have been given great, great demonic power through two entities, through the church or the power of the church, and through the power of Satan. This power is absolute power. Now, I already know. I'm hoping to God, I pray to God, them folks don't start messing with me. <laughs> I hope they don't. I hope to God they don't. Now, the only thing, there's no other word. Tap my minute now, so leave me alone. There's no other word, no other law, no other government, no other agency, no other power that is greater than this lining of enslavement. only 
put things over that lining. Right here is the next level. And that's God. God is the only thing, the only power, I don't mean to use thing, person that is stopping, the only entity that is stopping that lining from taking his throne. And what you're dealing with is far greater far greater than human imagination or human comprehension. The father spoke to me now and said, no words, no more words, prophet, can combat this entity. None of your words, none of their words, no human word on earth did you hear me? And then he spoke something to me. He said, what I want you to do now, I want you to flip above that lining. That's right. That's right. <laughs> You're not going to be able to do it, but I know how. Because <laughs> I've been to the ends of the world. I've been to the ends of the second heaven. I've seen how this baby worked. And I'm going to show you how to do it too. If you want it. For real? Yes, you better believe it. He said, I want you to flip over. Hallelujah. The lining. Because that's the only place my people can ever be protected now. Everything under is dead. Everything under that lining is dead. This is really death to America. That you better believe. He said, flip over. You say, well, Prophet Johnson, how do you flip over? He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. You're going to take the word of God and you're going to rise above everything that that lining represents and everything that's under it. And the social status and the social society of life. And you're going to have to walk in raw word power raw word discernment there is an increase of angelic forces right now that God have released for certain saints of God that's carrying this holy oracle of the shoe bread of Aaron's rod the Ten Commandments. And now, he's saying you are going to have to go from the outer court, the inner court, and you're going to have to dwell into the Holy of Holies. America is under quarantine. America is hostage. The freedom of hatred, racism, bigotry, division, and name calling has been given glorious rewards of demonic abyss, saliva, sinews of acid asinine, putrid favor to take the sword to kill and to slay mankind. Judgment has hit this nation. We are literally under judgment right now. Because of King Saul. You can thank God for Israel. You can thank God for prayer in school. And you can thank God for children not getting killed 
through some abortion thing or whatever. Say, Prophet Johnson, where you at? I told y'all. I've never in my life, not one day, ever wanted to see one child die because of some sex trap. Felt good when you got it. If it was legal enough, you enjoyed your rendezvous. You enjoyed your sex. And now life is inside of you. And you go and kill that life. And you give them something to talk about like they care. Like they care. They don't care nothing about that child. Never did. Never have. And never will. That child is used as a pawn in the game for their God that they call Jesus Christ. Jesus hate abortion. Jesus hate murder. And you kill people all the time. Jesus hate lying. You lie every day. Are you supported by your God? Your, your, your birth control substance? And then afterward, we sit up and we justify it all? I care less. And you, how can I look at you? I don't know what you are. You have on a tie. You have on a button down shirt. You have on a blazer. You have on the earrings. You look exactly like a man. But when you open your mouth. Hello. I would like to thank each and every one of y'all. For tuning in to this broadcast. You know God is good. You look like a man. But you are a woman. He called them. Us. Male and female. He said go. Be fruitful. And multiply the earth. So. What are you talking about? You, you can't have no children. You, you can't. All that you have now before you became what you decided to beyond your birth have ended that process for the rest of your life. You will never know ever again except by the will of God. The truth of what love procreation means except by the debauchery and the figments and the toys and the gadgets and the trinkets of one's mindset. know all about this stuff and we want to play God you want to take God's name it doesn't matter faith is on fire and what happens you don't see what the enemy is doing Building up your immune system to the poison. Go ahead. Vote. It doesn't matter. When we see that man reveal. The man of sin. Standing in the holy place. The man of abomination. The man of perdition. The antichrist. 
And there are men the Antichrist, presidents in running for presidents, kings in running for kings, queens in all queens. Damn it! Why? Because in this life, the enemy is slowly building up your immune system to accept anything that goes against the true word of God. He's slowly feeding this Jim Jones jungle juice by getting us to accept and to walk into a trap that's against God's word. We can't preach it no more. We're not popular. Men with men. Women with women. Doing that which is unseemly. And working the abominations in the sight of God. There will come a time that they will not heed sound doctrine. But each one will turn away to his own lust and his own desire. He called them male and female. A nine-month-old baby laying on a table about to be killed and suffocated. Life taking away a human being. How dare you? Oh, it's a sin. Tears in my eyes. Oh, woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo, boo -hoo -hoo. And the very one that said they are crying are sitting back rejoicing, thanking God that they killed a certain person in the street that ain't the same color. Y'all crazy. Hypocrites. Lying Christian Hypocrites. Captain, for religious purpose, I'm going to read the scripture and we're going to close. My brethren, James 1 and 2 in closing. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation, various kind, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. That man closing father said to me, Prophet, are you going to yield now to the status quo? Are you not going to tell the truth no more? Are you going to accept what all the correspondents and all the you know, commentators say on your favorite program and television and newscast? What? I said, God ain't selling out the none of them! None! But if I meet them, I'm going to love them. Not gonna make mention of nothing, gonna treat you the same way God treat me with nothing but total love and raw kindness and respect. I love every gay person. I love every homosexual. I love every lesbian. I love every abortion killer, murder, and thief. I love every Lying president that we ever had. So shut your mouth. You don't believe me? Ask Jesus. He'll tell you. I don't do I love you, but I pray for you. If I'm with you, I'm going to act like I'm in Rome. I'm going to hold my tongue. I'm not going to say nothing. <laughs> you better believe that. I'm not going to criticize you. I'm not going to put you down. I'm just going to tell the truth when it comes to God's word. That you better believe. I'll pay for your meal. But don't cross my line. Help me, I got one minute. Didn't I say wait? But let patience have her perfect work. I like the word her because she produces. That you may be perfect and entire wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God. That give it to all men liberally and upbraid it not and it shall be given him. In closing, faith on fire. But let him ask in faith, in faith, nothing wavering. 
For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think he shall receive anything of the Lord. In closing, a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. And that is the God, heaven, truth. A double-minded man, hallelujah, is unstable. Prophet Johnson, how you know? Because my mind was double, triple, and quadruple. You talking about double-minded? I was more confused as a bat riding a three-wheeler backward that can't find baby teeth. You talking about messed up, double-minded, trying to love what hated you, trying to love what was using you. Man, please, brother. Man, y'all don't know, sister. Africa, all over the world. I got good news for you in closing. God has an answer for Corona's disease. Will you repeat after me in faith? He said, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. He said, no evil shall come upon my household. Neither shall any plague nor disease. Psalms 91 is what I want you to start reading and using and watch God stop Corona. You hear me? But the Holy Spirit is showing me something. I got to go, Captain. Hold on. I got, I got 15 seconds. And my time is up. But God showed me this one last thing. This disease is a test for mankind. Don't be surprised if this judgment drives the church back to God. My fastest 30 minutes is up. That's my time. Repeat after me. Say, Father, I'm a sinner. And I receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. And I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm way over my time, but I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Don't forget, I already forgot. What was the message? Oh, thank you, Cap. Faith on fire. I'll see y'all tomorrow night. Bye. <laughs>